And they're off in the Central Bank Ashland. And there goes Typhosia, and there goes CS in charge, and Monomoy Girl is there to their inside as the field heads for the first turn. The favorite Monomoy Girl now scoots up the rail and takes the lead into the turn. CS in charge will back away into the second position. Patrona Margarita is third. Awkward move for Ipanema Beach now settles down between horses and fifth. Typhosia moves up from fifth to third around her outside. And Dina Del Sur further back is five lengths off the lead in sixth and a gap of five more to Eskimo Kisses, content to trail after an opening quarter in 24 seconds. Monomoy Girl is the leader by three parts of a length on to the back stretch. CS in charge is second between horses three parts of a length. Hyphosha the gray third far outside. Ipanema Beach moves up between horses now into the third position. Going to take some company with her though. Patrona Margarita finds some running room down toward the rail and moves into contention as well. And Dina Del Sur further back than a gap of six to Eskimo Kisses last. 47 and four-fifth seconds for the first half mile. Monomoy Girl, the leader a length and a half. They're stacked three across behind her, battling for the second position. Typhosia far outside. Patrona Margarita to the inside, and CS in charge in between those two. Joined by Andina Del Sur, swings four wide from fifth around the turn. Ipanema Beach is in sixth, and Eskimo Kiss is last, coming to the quarter pole. Monomoy Girl in front, chased by Patrona Margarita. Three lengths separate the top two, though. Andina Del Sur to third. Eskimo Kisses starts a late rally to the top of the short stretch from fourth to third to challenge for second seven lengths behind Monomoy Girl and Monomoy Girl in the final furlong of the Central Bank Ashland has the lead by six Eskimo kisses a distant second Patrona Margarita third it is all Monomoy Girl to take the Central Bank Ashland Eskimo kisses second Patrona Margarita third and Dina Del Sur fourth one minute 43 and three fifth seconds Keeneland's ninth race, 81st running of the Grade 1 Central Bank Ashland, number one, Monomoy Girl, owned by Michael Dubb, Monomoy Stables LLC of Saul Kuman, the Elkstone Group LLC of Stuart Grant, and Bethlehem Stables LLC of Michael J. Caruso. Trained by Brad Cox, first Grade 1 victory. And Florian Giroux rides his third winner on the card. Monomoy Girl, a three-year-old filly by Tapazar out of Drumette by Henny Hughes, bred in Kentucky by Frankfurt Park Farm, FPF LLC, and by Highfield Ranch, Michael Hernan, Brendan, and Olive Gallagher. Mile and a 16th, one minute 43 and three fifth seconds. Trophy presentation for the Central Bank Ashland being made by Mr. Luther Deaton, Central Bank Chairman, President, and CEO to the connections of Keeneland sales grad, Monomoy Girl. With the connections of the Central Bank Ashland winning Monomoy Girl Florent Giroux, great ride. You hustled her out of the gates here today. It looked like there might have been some other speed today. What was the plan heading into the race? There was no really no plan, you know. We just wanted to take a good position and let the field, you know, uh, being comfortable. I hustled her, you know, a little bit, you know, uh, from the one post, you know, if somebody else wanted to lead, wanted to lead, they had to work for it a little bit, you know, since uh, She's a heavy favorite, and I think she would have won, you know, even off the face. But uh, we had the rail, and we had the right of going, and uh, we just took it to them, and she was the best. She looked like she was really comfortable the whole way around there. Is that what it felt like? Yeah, she's fair, you know. She can go very fast, you know. Uh, last year when I rode her, you know, she went pretty quick, and both of her ears, you know, pricked, you know, and always, you know, uh, looking around and always taking a deep breath, you know, before the, uh, the beginning of the stretch. And I mean, you know, she can go farther, and hopefully, you know, uh, she can go 16 of a mile, you know, <laughs> David Father next time. Absolutely. Well, congratulations. Brad Cox, first grade one win. It comes at Keeneland with the Keeneland September graduate. Talk about what this means to your career with such a special filly. It's special. It means, I mean, it's, it means a whole lot that we've had her since the start. I mean, raced her as a two-year-old, now as a three-year-old. She's, um, she's really developed. I mean, we thought a lot of her when she started winning on the dirt last year at Churchill, and she's obviously taking it to the next level. Really nice filly. And talk about that process. She started her first two career starts on the turf. When was the decision made to switch her to the dirt to try that out? Was there anything she was doing in the mornings that made you feel confident to make that switch? Uh, yeah, when her, she she obviously always breezed well. She's just a little slow from the gate. You know, even the day she didn't break all that sharp. Flaunt, she broke. Flaunt had to kind of nudge her along a little bit to get position, and you know that's fine. Um, I, I thought it was a fantastic ride, but uh, you know she's always been a good uh, workhorse on the dirt. She's she's. Um, Obviously, she's dual surface, but we're going to stay on the dirt for now. Absolutely. And on to the Kentucky Oaks here. And we're so happy that uh, your first grade one win came right here at Keeneland. We hope to celebrate many more with you here, Brad. Brad Cox, trainer, Monomoy Girl, a very impressive winner of the Central Bank Ashland Stakes. On now to the Kentucky Oaks.